Hello, my active peeps, and thank you for joining me at Coach Hirsch PE. Um, this week, I want to talk a little bit about our new weekly leave challenge. I hope that you were very successful on last week's challenge for your water intake. I hope you at least replaced um, one beverage a day with water. I hope you worked your way up to replacing all your beverages to water um, daily. But just because this challenge is over does not mean you stop drinking your water. Um, you need to stay hydrated to keep your body functioning. This week's challenge, um, I had something else planned, but I noticed this week has been a big change for everyone around the world in all of our school districts. We are trying to do a continuous learning plan or long distance learning, however your district has put it. Um, we are trying to, to teach our kids from home and from our computers and to keep them active. And I know it was been particularly hard for me this week. Um, I've been late saying a lot of I can't statements. Um, I I was saying I, I can't do Google Classrooms. I can't do Zoom. Um, I can't reach out to 900 of my students. I, I just can't. So Monday when we started our continuous learning, my son was just like, Mom, I can't. I can't figure out these problems. I can't. And I said, whoa, hey, what's with the attitude? Why are we saying I can't? You know, what's what's the deal? And my son said, Mom, you've been saying can't all week. You've been saying you can't Google and you can't Zoom and, and you can't do lots of stuff. And I realized my can't do attitude was totally affecting my son. And I said, Okay, listen, let's let's figure out how we can. How can we do this together? Um, you know, you can ask me for help. Uh, we can text the teacher, we can call your teacher. We can call a friend for help. We can do this. And since I said that to my son later that evening, I felt that I needed to, to follow up on my preaching to him. So that night I said, okay, Hirsch, how can, you, how can you do this? How can we do this continuous learning plan? And I said, you know what? I can watch a video on how, how Zoom works. Um, I can call a friend to help me with Google Hangouts. You know, I can call my administrators, you know, to figure out what I need to do to contact my students. And then I said, you know, I can use my Coach Hirsch PE page to reach my students. I turned a lot of my I can't statements into I can. And right now, I'm sure there's so many students and families out there just saying I can't because it's so overwhelming. But instead of saying, you know, stuff like I, I can't leave the house. I can't go to a restaurant, you know, I can't see my relatives or my grandparents. We really need to enforce I can statements with that. We need to say, you know, I can stay home and stay safe and be with my family that loves me. I can help mom, dad, grandma, whoever with dinner. I can I can set the table for them. You know, I can call Nana and Papa. Um, I can FaceTime them. I can send them a piece of snail mail in the mail. They would love to see that. You know, we need to replace all of our can't, I can't statements into I can. And we really have to do it to be strong. We have to be strong for ourselves, for our family, for our students, for our kids. I mean, right now, you don't realize how strong you are until being strong is all you have left. And right now, that is really all any of us have left is to be strong during these hard times. And we have to show, you know, good I can statements to our kids to pull us all through these times. So that is our challenge for the week, is to replace all of our I can't statements into I can statements. Now you may be saying, Coach Hirsch, how can I apply the I can statements to my physical fitness or you know to PE? Well, you can apply the I can statement to setting yourself up for small steps to success. You have to set yourself up for success. For a win. So let's say you want to do 25 push-ups. You can't do 25 push-ups on the first try, so you set small goals. You do five push-ups. Once you can master five, you move on to 10, 15, 20, till you get your 25 in. You set small, realistic goals for yourself to set yourself up for success. Um, later today, I'll post a video um, that I've done with my fifth graders. It's a strenuous video. It's about five minutes long, and the first time that we did it together, my fifth grade students were just to me and like, Coach Hirsch, 
I can't do this video. I can't do it. It's, it's too hard. It's too long. And I said, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You can and you will. So let's try this. Let's try doing the video for one minute. So we did the video for one minute. You know, next week we did two. And we built ourselves all the way up to five minutes. And at the end of that five minutes, I had so many students saying, Coach Hirsch, I can. I did it. We did it. And it was just setting those small steps for success for them that made it possible for them to believe that they could do it. So that's your challenge for this week is to replace all of your negative I can't statements into I can statements because we are strong and we can do this. I remember one of my coaches back in the day said to me, hey, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. And you need to have a more of an I can attitude. And he was right. And so together we can do this and we need to be strong for each other. So this week, replace your I can't statements into I can statements. And remember, keep it simple, keep it fun, and keep it active. And you can do this.